Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So, big baby Glenn Davis. Well, I had to sit down for a little minute. Um, big, da- big baby Davis was sentenced to 40 months in prison over a fraud scheme. Now, he maintained his innocence, but he was sentenced by a federal judge on Thursday. 40 months in prison plus three years supervised release for his November 20. 20- 23 conviction and an alleged scheme to defraud the league's health care benefits. Now, again, Big Baby said he was innocent. Um, however, federal court system did not agree. Uh, and he's also ordered to pay $80,000 of restitution. And actually, the main ringleader, Terrence Williams, who also played in the NBA, they gave him 10, 10 years in federal prison. Um. And I mean, they, he tried to say that, you know, they was innocent and, you know, big baby, he, he, he put out a statement, apologized. Um, and then he came out on in, internet being funny, trying to be funny, talking about he gonna have to get swole and, you know, while he's sitting time down and he gonna have to figure out what he gonna do as far as like acting. I don't know. He just made a response trying to be goofy about it. Now he also said, quote, I lost I, when I when I lost basketball, I lost myself. I ask you, your honor, to help me get back to who I am. So they gave him forty months. Now, fortunately for Big Baby, he ain't gonna have to do the whole forty long as he ain't on good behavior. But he gonna definitely have to do two plus years. Sure, it'll be in a more um, low level facility. I highly doubt they're gonna send him to a max since that was a blue collar crime. But honestly. Big baby, aren't you a multimillionaire? You and all these other people then went to federal jail over this. And look, I'm gonna be honest, right? It is their money and they should be able to use it. But what happened is somebody hit a lick. This is my opinion. Somebody hit a lick, they told other players, and then they started those healthcare companies, whatever, they didn't throw a red flag, they didn't told the government, and they came in and they hit everybody with all these charges. To set an example for other people who might try it. And honestly. The minute he got hit with them federal charges. You already know you're going to have to sit down for a minute. The federal government has over what? 96, 97% conviction rate and something like that. They not playing. You know. So. And again. They gave Terrence Williams 10 years in federal prison. (laughs) Which is wild. But yeah. But you know. But big big, big baby man. If you would have saved your money. Um, you wouldn't have had to do it. Let's see how much you made year by year. Let's see. From 2008, made half of 400,000. 2009, 700,000. From 2010 to 2015, you made at least a million. 2015, you made 6 million. Several years, you made 6 million. 2012, 2013, 14. So, no, no. Says your total earnings was at least thirty something million. Thirty something million, forty something million total. Don't don't want to hear it. You know. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm tired of these these athletes, man. You know, they I get it, they human. And I didn't have several cousins play professional sports, but you know, you, you do something like this and you expect people to feel sorry for you. Just like Sebastian Telfair. You know, dude, this the reason my mama went back to the hood. Dude, you made close to $40 million total, give or take. You said this yourself, give or take. No, I'm not trying to hear that, man. This is what happens, man. You got to start saving. Y'all got to start saving y'all cheddar. And if you do want to tap into that money that's supposed to be yours, you got to do it the right way. Y'all just coming up with whatever or lying and you know, all the y'all didn't clicked up and figured out how to hit a lick. And now y'all got to do federal time. Now, do I think he need to do four years over that? No. You know, I think that was definitely excessive. But the judge, the federal judge, they, they try to make an example because they don't want this to come to norm. Just like when um Porter, Michael Porter, John T. Porter, how they just went ahead and banned him for life. They want to make sure that all this is done off the rip. So cool, nobody else get an idea. You know, it's a big baby. You're going to have to sit down for a little minute, man. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?